Lalibela is one of the holiest cities in Ethiopia, and in the 12th century, King Lalibela attempted to build a new Jerusalem. There are 11 different churches, each remarkably carved from single boulders of rock and chiseled from the top down. The series of rock-cut churches at Lalibela are an extraordinary sight to see. It's about 9 a.m. this morning. We're here at the most famous church here in Lalibela, St. George's Church, and you can see it down below. So there's only one entrance, and it's a trench to the bottom. <laughs> Starting from here, just one. So now they are just uh, collecting some holy ash. Oh, okay. uh, to put on their forehead and this is to, to take home and to give for family. Inside of here is Golgotha um, and the tomb of Lalibela is, is back here but it's only allowed for men to go inside so sorry ladies but it's, there's some really cool um, engravings um, into, the, into the stone. First church in Lalibela. Uh, this is St. Mary's, and right here is where King Lalibela used to sit and pray. And you got the view of the church here, and then out this window, you can see the, the village of Lalibela. Okay, I'm now in Madakni Alam which means the savior of the world. And this is the largest church in Lalibela. Wow, this thing is pretty heavy. <laughs> it's pretty heavy, but this is the, the drum of the church. Now at the entrance of Emmanuel Church, meaning God is with us. Okay, this, this is the private chapel for the royal family. 